Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over positioning elements within a web page so that you have a lot of precision and get the layout that you want. So I've got a model web page over here, and I'll make this available to you in the description for the video. So just click on the link in the description, you can grab this file. But basically I've got this web page, and it's one I've used before recently for uh, layouts. And I've got these various sections, top group, sidebar, and, and and then you'll find things in here like navigation and promo. And these are going to be the little things that I want to move around. So we'll we'll use our imaginations here. And I've got a pretend navigation menu. I've got a pretend little advertisement spot. In the header section, we'll have a pretend logo and a pretend site search or search box. And in the content section, I'm going to have a pretend little group here. These would be social networking icons or something like that. So very common elements that you would find on most web pages. Uh, the layout that I have, by the way, is a um, it's a flexible layout. The content, my web page is basically 85% of the browser window with a minimum 800 pixels and a maximum of 1250 pixels. So it's flex, it's a flexible layout with minimum and maximum limitations. And here's how my page looks. I've got this red sidebar, blue header, green main content, purple footer that I will not be using here today. And you can see my basic elements in here, my navigation, my advertisement area, logo, my search box is kind of hidden partially down here, and my social networking icons. And I want to place these in very precise locations. So position property is really good for that. Let's um, start off with this navigation. I would like this navigation block to be in the top portion here, of course, of my sidebar. Um, technically, I don't need to position it. I could just do some centering of this manually, but I want to focus on position in this video, so I'll position even though it's not 100% necessary to accomplish the task here. All right, so I've already got a rule for my navigation, and I've given it width and height just so you could visualize it, okay? Now, what I want to do next is I'm going to put in, actually not here, I need to add more properties into this, so let me go ahead and put this on a line by itself. And then I'll add another line here. So this is my navigation block. And I'm going to do position. And I'm going to do position absolute. Now when you position something absolute, you have to tell the browser how far from the left, how far from the top. Or how far from the left, how far from the bottom. Or how far from the right top or right bottom. So you have to indicate its position based on one of the four corners. I'm going to go from the top left. I'm going to say I want to position this absolutely. I'm going to start off with 0 pixels from the top and 0 pixels and left 0 pixels. So 0 pixels from the top, 0 pixels from the left, and let's see what happens. When I refresh, look at this. My navigation block jumped up to the top left corner of my browser window. If you just position something absolutely, it's going to be positioned based on its parent. Well my navigation block doesn't know about its parent okay my navigation block is inside of the sidebar so its parent is really the sidebar but it doesn't know about that so whenever you position something absolutely like I just did whenever you position absolutely this navigation block I need to make sure that its parent that I want to position it in relation to is also positioned so I'm gonna head up to I've already got a rule for sidebar somewhere up here here it is and for my sidebar I'm gonna add position relative so I'm going to position absolute within a relatively positioned container relatively positioned parent if I save this go back to my browser and refresh you're gonna see this vertical navigation pop right over to the red sidebar by the way it's covered up my uh, ad spot but we'll get that soon enough now I can start to play around with this a little bit so I can say, all right, no problem. I've got my position absolute down here. And then I can say, you know what? I want it to be 20 pixels from the top. Save that. Browser refresh, and it jumps down a little bit. That ad is there, so just kind of ignore that, that ad for a second. In fact, just to get it out of our heads, I'll just turn it off so you can't see it anymore. Okay, so I've moved it down a little bit, and then I can move it over a little bit more to the left. Um, I could do some basic math here. I know that my sidebar, 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 is um, 200 pixels wide. Okay, my 
my navigation is 150 pixels wide, so approximately 25 pixels on the left and the right. So we could do 25 pixels over here. Save, refresh, and there we go. Now the border takes up some thickness, so I might try like 23 pixels just to get it. And there we go. So now that's been positioned. So my navigation bar has been positioned. Next, I'm going to put that advertisement down here at the bottom. So I'm going to head back over to my code. And let's see, I'll go to my promo box. My promo box already has width and height. I'll get rid of that display none so we can see it again. I'm going to do position absolute. This one's going to be from the bottom five pixels and I'll say from the left 23 pixels. Okay. Now since my sidebar is already positioned relative this is going to work for us right away assuming I type in the right characters. Did you catch that? Semicolon right there. Okay so I'll save this back to my browser, refresh and now my advertisement is right down here at the bottom. Now even if this was a taller page that would still be at the bottom. So even if this stretches out this little advertisement is going to stay, stay at the lower portion of the sidebar no matter how tall that sidebar is because I positioned it relative to the bottom of the sidebar. Alright, so I think I'll finish up here and then we'll tackle these other parts in the next videos.